Hey, hello everyone, here's Rupiel and this is a video about new update coming soon for US server and that's Taiwan version of game, yep. That's the version of and that Taiwan server is getting all updates first because they are first, firstly they are testing updates, fixing bugs and then they are releasing all updates to US server mm, and basically we are getting updates after few days or even week depends on bugs and things that they have to fix this is new update here we've got a lot of new things first one is this Zion we have to repair Zion because before at the beginning it looks in as a broken sign, normal road sign, something like this. Then after repair, it looks like this. We have here some quests. I don't know um, too many things about this quest, but there's a time that we have to finish quests, or um, there will appear new quests. After finishing that quest, we'll receive a reward. Mana, gold, honor, badges, gems, gems, and I'm not sure about shirts. And you can also get X book, X books, I guess. So what is it? I cannot read it, but I guess I have to finish three dungeons. Okay, we have some nice account right there with 4 legendary heroes. There's X book uh, part of Hero Alta. X book, uh, X books are something that you can win in a uh, new feature called Hero Trials and maybe quests. So we've got almost. 5 of 9, Pumpkin Duke with 2 of 5 Zerg. We have Paladin with 3 of 5 Revive. We have Ninja with 2 of 5 Sprint. We have Drit with 2 of 5 Flame Guard. We have Snowzilla with 1 of 5 War God. And some duplicated heroes. So, on these 5 main heroes, we have a really decent talents. Okay, this is Kobe's account. Thank you, bro, for allowing me to play on it. And let's continue. There's some thing like this new symbol. We can manage our base, uh, build new one from the very beginning. It removes all the buildings. And we can put them. I'm not sure if we can switch bef between bases that we built. And I'm not going to click anything because I cannot read it at all. So sorry to you, but I don't want to mess up on this account. Uh, this is not the most important thing in this update, but sometimes it's easier to build base from the very beginning. Just not moving all the buildings and other are disturbing us. There we go. We have Hebrew monsters. No, that's not Hebrew monsters. Hebrew monsters are right there. Okay, first thing. I think that we should try finish one of the uh, one of the quests and see how is it working. Simply going from assassin side. That's a good strategy to take down assassin first because after your heroes are coming to the center they are splitting up and single heroes can be easily killed by by this assassin one of the mm, highest DPS elite hero and right now it's going to be very easy to finish this dungeon 
I think so. Yeah. It won't be a problem. And now we will see if we uh, did that what we have to do to finish the quest. Of course it's just one dungeon and let's go take a look. Yep, we have to finish this dungeon two more times. Okay. So I think we'll finish easier dungeon to do not waste time. And one of the things about Hero Trials, the most important new feature in game. So, Hero Trials, trials is something like heavy monsters, but there's no troops, no dinosaur. They are just legendary heroes, random legendary heroes, and starting from first stage, there are three legendary heroes at 30 level, I guess. And their spawn is at the corners, I guess. And that's going to be very difficult. It can be Punky Duke, it can be Spirit Match, I'm not sure about Spirit Match and Minotaur. Also Cupid for most of the players seems to be easy, but when Cupid procs his increasing attack. And when many Cupid procs they are just going to one hit destroy everything. I haven't seen it yet but I heard many times about discussions on if Cupid is easy or not. Okay, now claim and I got mana. Yay! What's that? I don't know. Oh, maybe it says that I finished this one. I don't know what I did but I can claim 25 gems and there is a shiny button, let's click it. Oh, I received other badges. There are also X books. Maybe I have few. Let's go and take a look. I think that I don't have X books. No, I don't have. The maximum X book is giving us 20,000 experience. Very nice. It will make even faster upgrading and leveling our heroes just to do not waste our time. Hero trials, we are going here L1, L2, L3, L4. So let's go and try L3. We can, we have six chances of of the hero trials, same as uh, as heavy monsters, and we are getting these chances. Oh damn, Grizzly Reapers are so strong. Maybe I will start with first hero trial. So we are getting every chance 6 hours, every 6 hours 1 chance and we can have 6 chances. We can only do 1 wave, that's not like here most we are getting 5 waves, there's only 1 wave with legendary heroes, first 3 legendary heroes, next is 6, yeah. We have to uh, count it as 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 uh, three, six, nine, twelve, and that's how it goes. Okay. What about rewards? First reward is for sure we are getting honor badges. That's the most uh, common reward. From the first hero trial, we are getting 100 uh, honor badges. It's not random. 
and next every next show we are getting hundred more. That's not a lot, but better than nothing. More ways to earn on our budgets is always good. As you can see, free throws at 30 level and they are random. They seem to have much more HP than normally at 30 level. It's hard for over 100 level legendary heroes to kill them. Another news is that you can get gems from Hero Trials. Not a lot. From first one you can get 3 gems. From second probably 6. And something that was not proven, I think so. I haven't seen that it's proven. But someone told me that you can win legendary heroes. Yeah. That someone from on Titan server won Pumpkin Duke. I'm not sure about this, and even if this is true, this this is probably a rare something that happened rarely, and hopefully this is a true. Something about heroes. All of them have random talents. Yep, random, totally random. As you can see, Atlanticors are going to be very easy to defeat because there are tanks. They are not high DPS heroes. The only thing with what they can kill us is their shield. Strong shield. Yep, sh shield seems to be very strong for Atlanticors. And maybe the only one reason why I can lose. But I think that I will win this one because my druid is still alive. Come on, come on. Padin versus Atlanticors. Oh my god. I think that I should garrison my towers. As you can see here, your trials are really strong. So many legendary heroes. Just try to imagine Pumpkin Dukes. Their own procs are going to stack. First thing, they are going to attack your buildings, proc many times, and just walk in few seconds through your whole base. So I think that. IGG should consider removing or decreasing, I don't know, just uh, nerfing hero trials. It's so hard to win hero trials, believe me or not. But we have a few more chances, we will try them. And we've got reasons in our towers. Why? Because we are not getting experience in hero trials. And this is one of the reasons why we should use garrisons. They are not going to take our experience, they are just going to help us. This is just one of the good things, good size from this update that give us hero trials. Okay, some garrisons here, some here. No, it's not going to change anything. Let's take a look right there. And nothing. Or maybe I will level up this a bit. Okay. And here we go once more. Not this one. L2. Oh, we have a chance to see Pumpkin Dukes and how their proc 
is going to stack many times, many, many. First proc, second proc, soon you will see third proc. And just take a look on this. They are killing everything in seconds. Wow! That was totally incredible. Sick. One of the things why hero traps are not a good idea at all. First thing, heroes are totally random. No. We should be able to choose heroes from the weakest to the strongest. Like from the Paladin to Cupids, Pumpkin Dukes and some other heroes like Thunder Gods, Grizzly Reapers. So once more we'll try. Uh, hero traps are not giving us too big advantage but it's always better than nothing. And there we go, L2 and ninjas. Ninjas are not going to be nothing difficult. Of course there are very fast high DPS heroes, but their proc is not stacking, they're not them super overpowered. They're just going to... Um, Come on, come on, what's going on? They're just going to destroy a few buildings and do not kill my heroes. Oh, I was wrong. That's not 200 on the barges, that's just 50 on the barges more. My bad. And the last chance. I think that we can try uh, L4 just to see how overpowered sorry is it and there we go L4 last chance and Atlanticors once more hopefully this time they will die you saw right now 5 of 5 revitalized Atlanticor but Every single of them has other talent. And their levels are too strong. They're obviously not having normal HP at this level. I'm sure about it. So something is wrong. Other thing as we last Hero trials. Heroes have over 180 levels. The last stage has 220 level heroes. Impossible. I just want to increase level cap. For who? Maybe for hackers that have 180 level heroes. I don't know. But anyway, that's totally not a good idea. So, thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully, I told you about this update everything, what I should. I said also my personal opinion. Mm, this is only my opinion, you can have another one. And if you like this video, click like if you want to see some new videos just write in comments or write with what do you think about this video if you don't like this video then tell me in comments why that's the most important part because if I won't know why don't you like this video then I won't make future videos better than this Thanks everyone for watching.
Hopefully, I usually will fix a lot of things coming with this future and hero trials that are too overpowered, too random. And see you soon. Till next time, for you, through PL.